Welcome to Order of Battle. I'm your host, Westy, and it's time to catch up with everything that's happened for Battlefield 1 in August. First up, the Look Cow Pass update is now live for all Battlefield 1 players. This gives premium pass holders early access to the first of six Russian themed maps, the rest of which will be available via another update in September. Two more base game maps also received an update to support the fan favourite Frontlines game mode Monte Grappa and Ballroom Blitz. This gives every player of Battlefield 1 more content to play with. For full details and patch notes for the August update, check out Battlefield.com. Next, we saw the introduction of Battlefield 1 Revolution. This is everything Battlefield 1 has to offer in one complete package. The base game and the premium pass have been bundled together at a great price, so you can jump right into the action. Starting off with the most extensive expansion pack in Battlefield yet, but more on that in just a bit. Alongside this, Battlefield 1 now joins more than 45 other games in the vault for EA Access and Origin Access. If you're subscribed to either of these services, you can now download the base game and start playing. The community test environment for console players also became available in August. Players have been able to join their PC brethren in testing out some of the latest content, including maps coming as part of the In the Name of the Tsar expansion. Keep an eye out as we reopen CTE registration for console players to join in and provide some valuable feedback. And lastly, a quick look ahead at what's coming. The roadmap for Battlefield 1 is packed with content. On September the 5th, the In the Name of the Tsar expansion will launch for premium pass holders and September 19th for all other players. HDR10 support is also coming with the expansion, and just alongside it is the closed alpha of Battlefield 1's new competitive module called Incursions. October brings the Operations Campaign update, the Turning Tides DLC will be launching in December, a nice Christmas present, and then we have the Apocalypse DLC in early 2018. Plenty to be excited about. So now you're caught up with all of the happenings of Battlefield 1 for the last month, and we'll be back very soon keeping you up to date with the game into the future. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the battlefield.